Pump something. Probably a big nasty carp. Oh. Look at that, folks. Largemouth on the Boise. Oh, you're such a little guy, but you're fat. Don't you know you're not supposed to be in this river? What? How many more are there? Oh. Another bass. A whole bunch of bass right there. Right there. Look at them all. There's so many that came after it. Right there. He's just staring me down. I'll give you something to chase, buddy. Come on back. Oh, man. A little bit bigger. Not often you catch these in town on the Boise. Not huge at all. <laughs> but still, the fact we're catching them in town is crazy, and this many of them. So we have found when you can find a warm water feeder creek like this that kind of comes into the Boise, a lot of times you find largemouth. So, not very big. and. We want this to stay a, a brown trout fishery anyways, but always interesting to catch something a little different. Now the trick is getting down here without dumping the whole rock pile in the river. Like that. <sighs> There's a nice fish. Nice rainbow. I don't know why, but there's always rainbows here. Rarely do I catch a, a nice brown, but this is a gorgeous rainbow. Rainbows are more spastic than browns, typically. Hard, hard fighters and will destroy your rapples if you got a treble hook. Wow, guys, look at that fish. That's a beauty. Get a quick bump on this guy, and then we'll release him. Right at about 16 and three quarters. That is a nice Boise River rainbow right there. Hey, you're going free. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna release you. Single hook, in and out. Oh. All right, pal, that was fun. You ready to go now? There he goes. Well, this morning, I got to the river on nine. It's 53 degrees, so I wanted to not hop in the water. I didn't want to put my waders on either. It's too early for that. So I biked down the green belt, just hitting spots as I went. It was pretty slow, I lost a couple. Uh, nothing huge, it didn't seem. And now that it's warmed up, caught a few rainbows. So I'm gonna head back, hit the same spots I hit this morning, and then hop in the river, up by the vehicle, make a few casts, and then go home. It's always an adventure on the river. Thanks for coming along. All right, I had a hit here. And we stopped here a little over an hour ago. See if I can capitalize. There he is, there he is, right there, guys. Came back, and he hit it again. Or a fish hit it again. And there he is. Came back a little over an hour later, and I was gonna say I've never caught a rainbow in this spot, ever. Probably can't even see because the bush is in the way. Ouch, it's full of prickles. Probably don't want to touch that. Poison ivy everywhere. Oh, just in time. I just told the GoPro to start recording. 
and we get this nice rainbow. It's a day of the rainbows, man. I think this one is just about the same size, if not, well, I don't know. It's really fighting hard in that current. Gosh, just gorgeous fish. Look at that. I'm gonna guess this is the same size as that other nice rainbow, I'd say about 16 inches. The color on that thing. Oh, he's about an inch shorter. Six, almost 16, the other one was almost 17. Well guys, that's a wrap. It ended up being a rainbow and bass day, which didn't expect that one. The browns, honestly, this time of year, end of August, early September, today's September 1st, it can be difficult. Weather's still warm, water's warm, and browns are like, uh, I don't know if I should eat today. Maybe tomorrow, maybe tonight. We'll see. The rainbows, they're usually game. Browns are a little more finicky. But we had the surprise bass. Not very many uh, bass caught in the Boise. And some beautiful rainbows. So, hey, thanks for watching. This is Matt. Try not to walk in poison ivy. See you in the river.